Science Bumps and Babies Photography, another episode in the video blog series, part two today with Wanda Bonner of Blue Linden Weddings and Events. Hi everyone. So um, last time we talked about kind of overarching and learned about you and your business um, and mainly about weddings, uh, but you also do destination weddings okay. and those can be twofold, mm -hmm. which could be folks going out of the country. We'll talk about that second. Sure. But Colorado is a huge destination huge. Uh, nowadays, and we have people coming from all over the world probably, but mm -hmm. you know, definitely here in the States. Mm -hmm. So let's maybe chat about that first. Sure. Um, what should folks know, you know, any tips or how many do you do or like, you know, what, what's that process and how does it differ maybe sure. from a local client? Sure. Um, so most destination weddings people hire us for full planning or, or partial planning mm -hmm. because they need feet on the ground. They need somebody that is physically here that can go on the venue tour. Sometimes they can't make it to Colorado. They can't mm -hmm. fly out to, to look at seven different venues. So we can go, we can FaceTime them, we can record it, or we just set out a, a, a specific time that they mm -hmm. can travel here and we do that. So it's a little bit more time intensive, but a lot of it has to be done and, remotely. And a lot has to get done if they come out like in a day or two. like. All venue, lots. venue, venue, yeah. this and that, tastings, tastings. this, yeah. that, the other. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Meeting with photographers to see if it's a good fit, meeting with your DJs. Yeah. So it's very busy. So to have a planner in place is really important because you do a lot of the planning on the front end. Um, also, destination weddings, almost always, in fact, I have not had an exception when I get married in the mountains. And those locations book fast. They book a year, year and a half. So out. most of the destinations are one in the mountains yes. versus downtown yeah. or something. Right, okay. exactly. Okay. Breckenridge or Keystone yeah. or uh, you know, Copper, Vail, yeah. Aspen, wherever. Yeah. Steamboat. Um, and so because those are such popular destinations and they want them on a Saturday because they want people to not have to take too much time off from work. And that's the key dates. It's yeah. the most popular. So they better get on it early. So they have to, yeah, <laughs> they have to get on it early. Um, I think one of the things that's really worth mentioning is a lot of folks assume that because it's a destination wedding, their guests won't come. Half of their guests, a third of their guests. And as you already mentioned, Colorado is a huge destination point and it's on people's bucket list. So I have found that really 90% of your guests are going to make it Maybe here. they extend and they do a little vacation. That's right, that's right. And depending on the time of year, they get some skiing in or some snowboarding in. If they're hikers and it's a summer wedding, mountain they get to, in. yeah, mountain bike, hike with Fishing. 14ers. There's so much to do here. Yeah. And so um, it, it doesn't hold water that, oh no, we're gonna save money, we're gonna do a destination wedding. Mm -hmm. People won't come. Seems um, like it's pretty cool, like, like a different set of challenges but I can see how it'd be really fun to kind of help them out. It's awesome. And they probably really appreciate it. And they really have to go back to what we talked about in episode number one was, you know, trust yes. in both directions. Sure, and Let sure. me guide you because yep. I'm the local and that's mm -hmm. me. There's a lot more time spent on the front end um, from my perspective with the couple really trying to get to know them. And I try and do FaceTime, you know, yeah. if, if possible, or Skype. That's kind yeah. of dating myself, Skype. Google but, um, Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so that I can send them good matches, good fits for the venue. Mm -hmm. um, if they say we don't want too rustic, that's going to eliminate. Or if they say we have 200 guests, that's going to eliminate well, some yeah. of those mountain yeah. venues. Yeah. So really spending some time on the front end getting to know those couples and what they're looking for and how I can help narrow down, because there are some amazing venues here yeah. in Colorado. Yeah. Do you want to get married on a mountaintop, or do you want to be inside? You know, Do you want a view of the mountains, or do you want to be in the mountains? Mm -hmm. So many nuances. Now, a lot of those things still apply, even if you, yeah. if you live here and you want a mountain wedding. Yeah. But it's a little bit easier to glean those things um, organically mm. in, in a few conversations here and there, rather than, well, you live a thousand miles yeah. away. we got some business to and take care of. Versus them bringing someone who might be a really good planner from Texas or New York, they could probably figure it out, but they're doing it all remote unless they're going to come here and hole up for a while right. and they had right. five clients that yep. were, you know, but so God bless them. But the yep. same if you were to go sure. to try and go to New York. Sure. And it's expensive. They're going to have to worry about yeah. getting a rental car, hotel yeah. accommodations. Yeah. You know, whereas I, I, I live here. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, so destination weddings, you need some feet on the ground, these are good feet. 
She has good feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good feet. She's grounded. Um, so let's talk about folks from wherever, probably here in the States, yeah. going out of our country. Mm -hmm. And I can't pronounce the place that you may, may mainly go to in the Caribbean. Yeah. Uh, Isla Mujeres. Okay. It's a little island <laughs> off of Cancun. Yeah. Um, and I have another website, another company that specifically just deals with Mexico weddings. Got it. And Isla Mujeres is, is, is the sweet spot for me. It's, and it's why that I place have. and what's the name of the other branch of the company? Um, so the other website is, or the other company is Besame Beach mm -hmm. Weddings. Mm -hmm. It translates to Kiss Me mm -hmm. Weddings. Um, Isla Mujeres, I think you asked why. It's easy to get to. You fly into Cancun. You take this lovely, amazing 20-minute ferry ride oh, wow. across the bluest water that I've ever seen, and I've been to some good beaches. Yeah. Um, the island is small. It's quaint. It's not for everyone, mm -hmm. uh, to be completely transparent. It, it's not fancy. It's not Cancun, which is why I love it. Mm -hmm. It's still preserved. It still has that old Mexico feel. Um, the, it, it's stunning. It's beautiful. White sandy beaches at one end and rocky cliffs at the other end. Is it remote or just that 20 minute? Just the 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it feels remote because it is an island. So you, the only okay. way you can get there is by little ferry. Um, once you get there, the mode of transportation is typically golf carts. They do have little taxis. Or you walk. It's the widest is a mile and the longest uh, is four point something miles. Okay. So you can, you know, walk all over the place downtown, but if you want to go from end to end, you need a little golf cart. Yeah. And it's just a it's just a lovely place. I've I've partnered with a couple of hotels that are mm -hmm. either all inclusive or semi inclusive. So it's it's great. You know mm -hmm. what your expenses are, you know what you are in in for. And if you're coming from Denver, mm -hmm. I've flown there for forty nine dollars. So I was going to ask, like, yeah. it's, it's destination, does this have to be a big expensive event? No, in fact, planning a destination wedding in another country, specifically Mexico, actually can save you money hmm. for a couple of reasons. It's, it is uh, oftentimes all-inclusive. It's affordable, at least for us in Colorado, to get there round trip. You know, it's going to be under $150. Um, you're on a beautiful, pristine beach. You don't need decorations. You know, you, maybe you have your bouquet. Um, it, because it's a lot less formal, the, typically brides don't spend the same amount on a, on a bridal gown because it's not this huge ball gown. You know, it's a little, it's, it's a little more natural, a little more organic. The bridal parties are usually smaller, so you don't have to worry about that. And typically, the guest list is quite a bit small. 50 to 75 yeah. or something, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So you're, you're kind of all in oftentimes for half of what you pay, certainly from, for a mountain wedding, you know. Is there any little quick tips for folks that are having a wedding down there in Isla? Isla Mujeres. Isla, Isla so Mujeres. Is the um, yeah, the, I'd say the first tip is hire a planner. Yeah. Because there are a lot of administrative moving parts. Yeah. Um, you know, there are things to remember um, well, first, before I get ahead of myself, apply for your passport early. Yep. You can go online, and it says you can get your passport four to six weeks. Don't count on that. Yeah. Um, it has taken us, because my family does like to travel, and we've waited four months to, to get our passports <coughs> for, you know, for whatever reason. Um, but going back to the, the planner, there are two ways you can get married in Mexico. If you want um, a, a legal binding ceremony, in Mexico that you know holds up in the United mm -hmm. States you have to um, you have to have obviously a valid passport but you also have to get a blood test there you have to show your um, your civil um, oh gosh what's it called I'm, I'm forgetting now but there are a lot of different can't read it over there. <laughs> you get your blood test up here you have to, yes you get your blood tested here you have to have a checks right here but you have to have the um, paperwork mm -hmm. translated and taken mm -hmm. to Mexico, mm -hmm. as well as if, if it's your second marriage, you have to show your divorce documents and everything has to be translated in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So then that's, a, that's an added expense. Mm -hmm. Well, a planner can navigate all of that for you. What I recommend is to go to the Justice of the Peace here yeah. or the courthouse, get married, and then have a, a, a ceremony 
there. Representing you can also take a marriage, you can apply for a marriage license here and have your officiant sign it in, in okay. Mexico. Okay. And then you bring it back here. Okay. So again, moving parts, but working with a planner, they can they can make it seamless that you know you just yeah. hop on an airplane and, and go. Yeah. Bring your sunscreen. Yeah. What else down there do you love about it or tips or just to bring this home on the yeah. Mexican I'm, wedding? My happy place is the beach. And I just I find that people that do destination weddings, they're just really able to focus on them and their family. They're not worried about the venue and the big flowers and, and all of the food. I, I, it, it simplifies everything. And I think that's just the vibe and yeah. that, that, that people just feel their worries, if you will, melt yeah. away. I've been to the island many times and literally riding that ferry there's, there's, there's nothing to do. It's probably a release as you go. You Such let, really, leave everything behind yeah, on yeah. the Cancun It's, it's really amazing then. how it just sort of takes that that aura on without how, intentionally... How did you find that place? Did we say? No, we didn't say. So um, I did a wedding here in Colorado with a photographer, and she, we met for coffee, and she started telling me that she lives in Mexico eight months of the year and shoots there, and then the other times when it's really, really hot and humid in Mexico, which is coincidentally our peak season here, she comes home and she shoots weddings here. So she invited me out, told me I need to come and be a planner. She's like, we have one planner on the island. They have sort of, um, well this was a couple years ago, so I don't know if this is still the case, but sort of got a little um, lackadaisical, if you yeah. will, because there was no competition. So she said, come on over and, and check it out. And I fell in love the first time I was there. I went back again a few months later with my husband. Went back again to talk to some you know, hotels and some, some yeah. other people that are connected and decided, hey, what the heck, I'm, I'm gonna try. It's like a vacation, a working vacation for me. Give that other wedding planner a little kick in the butt to get her act to hit his or her act together, right. probably. Right, yeah, cool. yeah. so that's kind of how I found it by happenstance. Yeah. Somebody invited me. Yeah, I attended uh, one in Costa Rica yeah. year, years ago, and there was probably 50 people. Mm -hmm. We went down, I turned it into a vacation and went sure. all around and everything. Sure. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just on the beach, and like you said, very simple. They had right. like kind of a driftwoody yeah, uh, arch. arch and just uh -huh. some drapery coming down. Yeah. And um, yeah, and we had parties in the rooms at night leading up to it sure. with everyone, you know, a lot of the people, right. and the, the wedding, you know, had it at the hotel out by the pool. Mm -hmm. and, you know, the ceremony was on the sand, and then right. I came back in. But yeah, right. so I know what you mean, that we really did focus on just the couple and the wedding yeah. and celebrating yeah. with friends and family. So. And, it's a, and it is typically, you know, far less expensive in Mexico. It's yeah. just, it's their economy. You know, so you're, you don't feel like you're getting gouged that there's this huge markup on, yeah. on alcohol or on food. And my gosh, they literally are catching your seafood a block away. Yeah. You know, so it's really fresh yeah. and... and the people are so kind and laid back and chill. Probably grateful for the business grateful. coming in. Yeah, they're not jaded yet by yeah. you know, yeah. rude Americans. So yeah. that's that's why that island. That's why that place. Yeah. Um, I'm. I much prefer do. I'd much prefer to do a wedding on the island rather than Cancun. Now, some people might want the convenience of Cancun. Yeah. You know the hustle bustle. It, it's different. For everyone? Well, there's different reasons to take gigs, so if you're not always right. working with that other photographer, I'll go. <laughs> Absolutely. So. I'll bring you over. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, unless there's anything else, I think we could probably wrap up. A yeah. uh, little starter kit information about destination weddings uh, down in Mexico at... <laughs> Isla Mujeres. <laughs> Isla Mujeres. Or if you're coming here to Colorado where there's a lot of amazing, amazing, amazing. venues... Yeah. Uh, contact Wanda Bonner, Blue Linden Weddings and Events. And again, I'll put the URL down here at the bottom for you all to give her a call after looking at her website yep. and everything. So. And if they go to Blue Linden Weddings, you can still, there's a link on bluelindenweddings.com over to Besame. So Got you don't it. have to remember both. Got it. You can just click on Destination and it'll okay. forward you over to the other link Sweet. as well. Yeah. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back with one more episode here shortly. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.
Let's go.